What is going on everyone? It's Super here and welcome to another Injustice 2 video and today as you guys know was a huge day because we got our reveal and officially on the Injustice website the reveal was for Green Lantern even though we got I would say around seven first looks at different characters and I talked about that in a video earlier today it's going to be linked in the description i go over all the new characters that were revealed or showcased for the first time in injustice 2 in the shattered alliances trailer but as always if you guys do enjoy the injustice video especially today awesome day with all these character reveals leave a like rating on the video but i wanted to wait a little bit because the injustice 2 website up updated uh, a couple hours ago with the official like backstory for Green Lantern who was you know the character reveal for today and I wanted to wait to see if they were going to update it um, with like Green Arrow and all the other characters that were showcased I knew they weren't going to like update it for um, you know characters like Captain Cold because he was sort of like just there as a little teaser for us but green lantern is the only one we got today but i do have some other cool stuff to talk about but here we go the story for green lantern goes um where are you all right here we go uh green lantern's little quote is my will is stronger than my hate and that's a really cool quote because as you guys saw princess barking in the background sorry for that <laughs> princess i will give you some food as soon as i'm done with this video but as you guys saw in the trailer uh, Atrocitus is actually trying to corrupt Green Lantern into becoming a Red Lantern using his um, anger and rage to take control but no his will is too strong for that to happen I thought that was a pretty cool line you know it fits well with the trailer and now his little backstory goes um, rehabilitated by the Guardians of Oa, Hal Jordan overcomes his worst fears from his time as a member of the Sinestro Corp, which happened in the first Injustice game. Now Green Lantern once more, Hal returns to Sector 2814 on a mission to stop Brainiac's invasion and prove to himself that he deserves a second chance at a brighter day. So he pretty much wants redemption, um, something similar to, um, you know, the Flash. The Flash was ashamed of himself for what happened in the first Injustice game and now Hal Jordan same thing becoming a yellow lantern in the first game and now back to being a green lantern you know he just wants to do good so that's pretty cool there first impressions on green lantern he looks almost identical to the first Injustice game um, I do like uh, his face structure I don't think he looks weird you know he's not a I'm sorry I love you Superman but he's not a Superman type where he his face looks kind of weird I think he looks great uh, the same thing goes for Green Arrow I think Green Arrow and, uh, and Green Lantern look look awesome um, so I, I know he's gonna be really good uh, he was really good in the first Injustice game uh, he had moves similar to Ermac uh, that's what a lot of people compared him to and I can't wait to get into playing some Green Lantern because I never played Green Lantern in the first Injustice game. You know, the tiny bit that I did play. So that is Green Lantern's backstory there. Now for the second part of the video. And this one is interesting. So during one part of the Shattered Alliances trailer, um, there's a scene where Gorilla Grodd is like giving a speech in front of a crowd. And next to him are a bunch of characters that pretty much are in the group you know the it's not the new um, regime or anything but it's a group like that it's a group being led by Gorilla Grodd and he has members in the background of his group you know including um, Cheetah including Catwoman including uh, our first look at Captain Cold Bane is in there and all the way to the far left if you pause at a certain section i'll put the screenshot on the screen of course there is like maybe three frames maybe that that's pushing maybe two frames in which there's a mysterious character that appears all the way to the left that is causing such a buzz in the community at the moment because we have absolutely no clue who this could be so I'll put the screenshot up on the screen right now. This is a screenshot from this specific character. Um, he is next to Deadshot. 
we only get to see this specific picture this is like the the closest i could give you this is literally the frame before it cuts to black so this is like the best shot that we get of this specific character a lot of people are thinking it's red hood a lot of people are thinking it's scarecrow um so one of my uh, viewers on twitter actually tweeted me a comparison between red hood and this mysterious character of course he doesn't have a red hood it's more like brownish um but as you guys see um, the similarities do are a little bit similar as far as um, you know the build he is a strong guy um, so at first I thought it might be um, you know scarecrow because he it looks like he has a burlap sack over his head you know similar to Batman begins and the sack that he was wearing in that specific movie but he is way too buff to be scarecrow um, and at the same time, you know, Red Hood, he doesn't have a Red Hood. <laughs> uh, and he, you know, the inside of his clothes are blue. If it were to match Red Hood, you know, he would have a white shirt. And then you might be able to see a little bit of his uh, bat symbol. So I don't know, guys. I don't think this is Red Hood or I don't think this is Scarecrow. This is another character that we don't know of yet. This might be one of the secret characters that will be revealed in the future i know there will be npcs in the story mode for injustice 2 but if there are npcs there will be a very tiny amount as far as main characters because uh i know that in previous interviews uh ed boone and multiple people have asked whether there's going to be npcs in the story mode and they confirmed that they're going to try to keep the NPCs down to a minimum because a lot of people do get angry if the NPCs don't end up being DLC characters or don't end up being in the game. The fans get angry. Same thing would happen with Rain, Sindel. You know, we expected them to be in the game. They never came. So they want to keep the NPCs down to a minimum. So this might actually be a character that is going to be an injustice. We just have absolutely no clue who this could be. Um, I was thinking it might be Aquaman, uh, but, you know, Aquaman with, like, a different uh, color. Uh, he, he has a jacket on. His tr He doesn't have his trident. Well, he could have it on the other hand. But what the hell is up with that, like, brown mask or brown hood or a burlap sack, whatever that thing is. Um, but, yeah, this might actually, if this is Red Hood, uh, you know, you could, I, I'm pretty confident that you could take gear like different pieces of gear into the story mode maybe after you pass it the first time who knows um, because we did see uh, Superman with different gear at different points of the Shattered Alliances trailer number one and two uh, same thing with other characters so this might be a case where uh, you know the, the hood gets changed to brown in this specific scene who knows let me know what you guys think let me know who you guys think this is literally i asked on twitter got a ton of replies and not one person was like um you know very sure of their answer they would always end with a question mark and that's what i'm doing right now i'm like is that red hood is that scarecrow is that um i have no fucking clue another thing uh scarecrow looks so different from his design to that so i, I really like i would throw scarecrow out um, this is like a, a really buffly built person, and it's definitely a man. You know, he looks like a man. He has man shoulders. Um, he has a lot of muscles. So, yeah, guys, <laughs> let me know who you who you think this is. Any more clues, I'll upload videos on, and I'll keep you guys updated. But that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. What's going on, guys? It's Super here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe or check out any of these videos linked at the top. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.